Hi my dear students welcome back to my channel so this video is exclusively for class 8th students those who are writing the board examination so already you know that i have started uploading the videos and also the notes for the class 8th students so nemellarigu board examination irodrinda so you already nanu two model question papers na analyze madidini and uh, i have started you know uploading the concept based question answers andre prati lesson allu kuda every line of the content oddaga nimge yavudala questions anna kelbodu anno ondu concept basis mele so nan ondu 30 plus question answers na every lesson in the frame maartta bandidini so we have already done with pollution of air and water after that nan start maadidanta lesson reaching the age of adolescence 15 questions complete agittu so remaining from the question number 16 till 31 ee ondu video dalli nan cover maartene so students those who are watching this video have confidence on yourself complete textbook na nan tharo maartta idini jothege nimge kalika cheetarike anta en exam oriented ondu file ide adannu kuda nan en jothe discuss maartene so you definitely get full marks from the science subject from my channel andre nan channel na follow maadodrinda complete aagi nimge 40 of 40 sigutte yakendre i am going to cover all the concepts so without missing any of the videos do watch all the videos and also share the videos with your friends also so without wasting much time let us look at the 16th question the 16th question is mention the function of testis and ovaries students see testis is a male reproductive organ it produces the male gametes so male gametes anta heltivi male sex cells anta heltivi so they are called as sperms and this testis also help in producing a hormone called as testosterone hormone similarly ovaries produces female gametes which is also called as female germ cells or female sex cells so that is ova ova anta hedru karibodu navu athwa eggs anta kuda karibodu so these ovaries apart from releasing the eggs it also secretes a hormone called estrogen estrogen hormone na secrete madutte moving to next question mention the reproductive phase of female anta kelta idini see in female the reproductive phase of life it begins at puberty children so at the age around 10 to 12 years so she enter to puberty period and this period will end that means it last when she reaches the age of approximately 45 to 50 years okay so puberty start agate 10 to 12 years ge so menstruation cycle start agate and then it will ends when she enters to the age of 45 to 50 years so this phase we will call it as reproductive phase anta heltivi so let's go for next question differentiate between menarch and menopause anta kelta idini what is meant by menarch so menarch is nothing but the start of menstrual cycle when a female enter to her puberty her menstruation cycle will start so the start of menstruation cycle we call it as menarch and this menstruation cycle will stop when she reaches to the age of 45 to 50 so that period we call it as menopause so the stop of menstruation cycle we will call it as menopause so the next question define chromosomes what is meant by chromosomes see chromosomes are nothing but they are the thread like structures and these chromosomes they are present in the nucleus of the cell you have to know what are chromosomes okay they are thread like structures so moving to 20th question name the sex chromosome present in the male and female is my question so in case of male children so it is x and y chromosomes are present but in case of female it is always x and x chromosome we always say male have mismatched pair of chromosome that is x and y whereas female have perfect pair of chromosome that is x and x okay so let's go for next question how can you determine the sex of the uh, sex of the child or sex of the baby anta kelbahudu see when a sperm containing the x chromosome fertilizes the egg okay what happen it always forms a pair of chromosome say for example if a sperm containing x chromosome when it fertilizes the egg what happen egg always contain x chromosome so what happens it forms x x in the zygote so during that time it results in the formation of the girl baby similarly when the sperm containing the y chromosome 
when it fertilizes the egg it always contain x chromosome right so it forms the x y in the zygote hence this results in the formation of the boy baby so it is all depends upon the type of chromosome which is been you know contributed by the father that is the male okay so because the sperm contain either x chromosome or y chromosome moving to next question who is responsible for the determination of the sex of the child and why so it is father father is responsible because the father contain x and also y chromosome so that is the reason always father is responsible for the determination of the sex of the child so moving to next question see raju's grandfather is suffering from the goiter name the condition his grandfather facing through how it can be corrected so then application type anta nan illi one frame madidini see raju's grandfather is suffering from the goiter so yen koskara it is because of due to the deficiency of thyroxine hormone thyroxine hormone deficiency adre enagutte it results in the condition called the goiter so goiter adre enagutte so the glands which are present near the throat get swell so next nan kelthirantadu how it can be corrected anta kelta idini so this problem can be corrected by proper intake of iodine so iodine is very important for our body so every day we have to consume iodine so this iodine will stimulate the thyroid gland to release the thyroxine hormone so through this what happened the raju's grandfather can correct his condition so the next question name the hormones released by the following glands there are certain gland which i have mentioned here you can observe the first one is the thyroid gland so thyroid gland releases thyroxine hormone adrenal gland releases adrenaline hormone pituitary gland releases the growth hormone pancreas releases hormone called insulin testis releases a hormone called testosterone and ovaries releases a hormone called estrogen every hormone which is released by that particular gland is very important to know so the next question what happens when adrenaline enters to our blood first of all this adrenaline adrenal gland is an endocrine gland so that's why it releases a hormone called adrenaline hormone which directly enter to our blood so when this adrenaline is released uh, into our blood what happens you, you have to know this children so when will it release first of all it is released during the emergency condition so whenever it releases uh, during emergency condition what happen it increases your heart beat rate your blood pressure and your breathing rate also increases okay so whenever adrenaline hormone enters to your blood what happen heart beat rate increases blood pressure increases and also breathing rate also increases clear so moving to next question define metamorphosis what is meant by metamorphosis the change from the larva to adult frog see before a frog completely gets its outer look it will go through many stages okay so from the larva till the adult it goes through many changes in its body so this process we will call it as metamorphosis so next question how thyroxine hormone play an important role in the life of the frog i am asking see thyroxine hormone helps during the metamorphosis basically how does it help see if the water in which the tadpoles are growing does not contain the sufficient iodine what happen the thyroxine hormone which has to be released in the body of the frog will not be released properly so during due to this what happened the frog which is which was a tadpole will not get a proper body that is it does not grow into a proper adult frog okay very important thyroxine hormone plays a very important because role because it will look after the metabolism of the that means chemical reaction that takes place in the body of the frog so if thyroxine does not release if say for example if water does not has the iodine what happen then what happen thyroxine hormone does not properly get released in the body of the frog it results in the improper growth of the frog clear okay so moving to next question how can you define an individual health anta kelta idini because nimge reaching the age of adolescent alli intellectual and mental health related agi kuda question kelidru so idella small small concepts en antandre neevu maribardu see how can you define an individual health andre 
ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಅ ಫಿಸಿಕಲ್ ಮೆಂಟಲ್ ವೆಲ್ ಬೀಯಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ಅನ್ ಇಂಡಿವಿಜುವಲ್ ಓಕೆ ಒಬ್ಬ ಪರ್ಸನ್ನ ಫಿಸಿಕಲ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಮೆಂಟಲ್ ವೆಲ್ ಬೀಯಿಂಗ್ನ ನಾವೇನಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತೀವಿ ಇಂಡಿವಿಜುವಲ್ ಹೆಲ್ತ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತೀವಿ ಸೊ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ಸ್ ಇಫ್ ಒನ್ ಡಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಮೇಂಟೈನ್ ದ ಪರ್ಸನಲ್ ಹೈಜೀನ್ ಹೈಜೀನ್ ರಿಲೇಟೆಡ್ ಆಗೂ ಕೂಡ ಒಂದು ಕ್ವಶನ್ನ ಕೇಳಿದ್ರಿ ಸಿ ಒನ್ ಶುಡ್ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಮೇಂಟೈನ್ ದ ಪರ್ಸನಲ್ ಹೈಜೀನ್ ಇಫ್ ಒನ್ ಡಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಮೇಂಟೈನ್ ಪರ್ಸನಲ್ ಹೈಜೀನ್ ಏನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಇಟ್ ಫ್ರೀಕ್ವೆಂಟ್ಲಿ ಕ್ಯಾಚಸ್ ದ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ಟೀರಿಯಲ್ ಇನ್ಫೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ಟೀರಿಯಲ್ ಇನ್ಫೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಏನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಫ್ರೀಕ್ವೆಂಟ್ಲಿ ಆ ಒಂದು ಪರ್ಸನ್ಗೆ ಕ್ಯಾಚ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಮೇಂಟೈನ್ ಯುವರ್ ಪರ್ಸನಲ್ ಹೈಜೀನ್ ಸೇ ಫಾರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಟೇಕಿಂಗ್ ದ ಬಾತ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಕ್ಲೀನಿಂಗ್ ಯುವರ್ ಪ್ರೈವೇಟ್ ರೀಜನ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಆಸ್ ದ ಪರ್ಸನಲ್ ಹೈಜೀನ್ ಸೊ ಯು ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ಫಾಲೋ ದಿಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಅವೇ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ಟೀರಿಯಲ್ ಇನ್ಫೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಸೊ ದ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ನೇಮ್ ದ ವೈರಸ್ ರೆಸ್ಪಾನ್ಸಿಬಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಏಡ್ಸ್ ಅಂತ ಕೇಳ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೀನಿ ಸೊ ವಿಚ್ ವೈರಸ್ ಈಸ್ ರೆಸ್ಪಾನ್ಸಿಬಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ಕಾಸಿಂಗ್ ಏಡ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಹೆಚ್ ಐ ವಿ ವೈರಸ್ ಹೆ ವಿ ಕಾಲ್ ಇಟ್ ಆಸ್ ಹ್ಯೂಮನ್ ಇಮ್ಯುನೋ ಡಿಫಿಷಿಯನ್ಸಿ ವೈರಸ್ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ರೆಸ್ಪಾನ್ಸಿಬಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ಕಾಸಿಂಗ್ ದ ಏಡ್ಸ್ ಏಡ್ಸ್ ಫುಲ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಇಸ್ ಅಕ್ವಾರ್ಡ್ ಇಮ್ಯುನೋ ಡಿಫಿಷಿಯನ್ಸಿ ಸಿಂಡ್ರೋಮ್ ಓಕೆ ಎಸ್ ದ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಲೆಸನ್ ಮೆನ್ಷನ್ ಸಮ್ ಮೆಥಡ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಸ್ಪ್ರೆಡಿಂಗ್ ದ ಹೆಚ್ ಐ ವಿ ವೈರಸ್ ಸಿ ಹೌ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ದ ಹೆಚ್ ಐ ವಿ ವೈರಸ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಸ್ಪ್ರೆಡ್ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಸ್ಪ್ರೆಡ್ ಥ್ರೂ ವೇರಿಯಸ್ ಆಕ್ಟಿವಿಟೀಸ್ ಸೇ ಫಾರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ವೆನ್ ಎ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಗಾಟ್ ಶೇರ್ಡ್ ಬೈ ಅ ಸಿರಿಂಜ್ ಯೂಸ್ಡ್ ಸಿರಿಂಜ್ ಆರ್ ವಿ ಸೇ ಸಿ ಫಾರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ವೆನ್ ವಿ ವಿಸಿಟ್ ಅ ಹಾಸ್ಪಿಟಲ್ ದೇ ಗಿವ್ ಇಂಜೆಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಅಸ್ ಸೊ ಟು ಗಿವ್ ಇಂಜೆಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ದೇ ಯೂಸ್ ದ ಸಿರಿಂಜಸ್ ದೇ ದೇ ಆರ್ ದ ನೀಡಲ್ಸ್ ಇಫ್ ದ ಸಿರಿಂಜಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಬೀನ್ ಯೂಸ್ಡ್ ಟು ಅನದರ್ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಈಸ್ ಯೂಸ್ಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ಯು ವಾಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ ಇಫ್ ದಾಟ್ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಇಸ್ ಇನ್ಫೆಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಎಚ್ ಐ ವಿ ವೈರಸ್ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಬಿ ಅಫೆಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಎಚ್ ಐ ವಿ ವೈರಸ್ ಸೊ ವಿ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಸ್ಟಾಪ್ ಯೂಸಿಂಗ್ ದ ಸಿರಿಂಜಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಬೈ ಶೇರಿಂಗ್ ದ ಯೂಸರ್ ಸಿರಿಂಜಸ್ ವಿ ಗೆಟ್ ದ ಎಚ್ ಐ ವಿ ವೈರಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಬೈ ದ ಬ್ಲಡ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಫ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಸೊ ಸೇ ಫಾರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಇಫ್ ಅ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಇಸ್ ಸಫ್ರಿಂಗ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಎಚ್ ಐ ವಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವಿತೌಟ್ ಟೆಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಇಸ್ ಬ್ಲಡ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ರಿಸೀವ್ ದ ಬ್ಲಡ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಇಸ್ ಬಾಡಿ ವಾಟ್ ಆ್ಯಪನ್ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಗೆಟ್ ದ ಎಚ್ ಐ ವಿ ವೈರಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಇನ್ಫೆಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ಮದರ್ ಟು ಬೇಬಿ ಇಫ್ ಮದರ್ ಇಸ್ ಇನ್ಫೆಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ಬೈ ದ ವೈರಸ್ ದೆನ್ ದ ಮದರ್ ಫೀಡ್ಸ್ ದ ಬೇಬಿ ರೈಟ್ ದೆನ್ ದ ಬೇಬಿ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಗೆಟ್ ಇನ್ಫೆಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ಬೈ ದ ವೈರಸ್ ಓಕೆ and also to sexual contact with multiple partners so these are all some of the methods that how the hiv virus spread so always the one should have a one partner so if they have multiple partner then also then not happen the hiv virus will easily spread so i think in nimge artha agide anko tin complete agi so ee ella questions nan en nimge jothe share madidini 31 questions from the lesson reaching the age of adolescence definitely nim examination point of view nal id help agutte so if you found found this video useful don't forget to share the uh, video with your friends children and i will also share the pdf in telegram so thank you so much for watching this video i'll meet you all in this next video with another concept until then take care